Yes. Sweet. There. Ha! Got it. All right. <laughs> I had to, I had to really, really fix Streamlabs. That was, uh, that was bad. Okay. Wow. Okay. So where, where do I begin? Uh, when. So I've been streaming by accident. Streamlabs was thinking that I was using my Twitch profile still. I had to completely nuke my Twitch profile. And then, as soon as I did that, everything that I had made up to that point was just gone. And I didn't realize that it was all attached to my Twitch profile. So when I got rid of it, uh, it just, I guess, <laughs> made it to where I had to redo everything. So not fun. But it's alright. Because we are going to get the chat on the screen here. And it's going to be fun. Alright. So, another thing that I need to do is I need to get the guide up. Just take me a second here. Wait for people to get here. Hey, Nikuzi. I'm going to pull this guide up on my phone. Uh, just so that it's easier for me to scroll through because uh, Danganronpa likes to lock my uh, it likes to lock my cursor into its screen it's much like Hope's Peak itself alright so chapter Chapter 2 is what we just got through. Cool. Um. City Chapter 3. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing good today. I can't believe this. <laughs> the one thing I forget to do, it's the most boring. This is why I'm thinking of editing these streams down. Uh, so I end up just getting a lot of dumb moments like this. Here we go. Okay. I think I found it. I think the guy didn't want to do anything because I was like trapped in Discord. Chapter three is kind of weak. Okay, but we'll just uh, we'll just blow through it. If it's if it sucks, do the dining hall. Ooh, third floor. Okay, let's get up there. Can I... Ooh, we have Teddy Coin, too. Um... I can't get up there. Stairs to second floor. Why is that blocked off?
weak chapter time, yeah. Could it be? Nothing's changed on this floor. Uh, the. Oh yeah, well that I think that's a big change. Uh, big brain. Uh, let's go check that out. Nothing's different except now we can go to a third floor. Nice. <laughs> An entire new floor of the school. Nothing's different. Okay. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? I think it's up dog. Hmm, so this is a recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> Well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, and even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They even have provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen uh -oh. up! Ring, 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 hello there. Allow me to expound. Expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Uh-oh. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. Damn it. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. You will be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to right now, magazines are kind of... Kind of what? Watch out! Oops. Nothing. No, never mind. That's it for my expoundation. Bye-bye. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers Most me, too. Unfortunate. Life here would be th that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? It sounds like Celeste just wants to live here. I think she hates her real life. Uh, kinds of magazines on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? Yeah, that's kind of sad. Hopeful peak. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave here. Don't bully Hero, he's smart. <laughs> no bully. <laughs> um So now I'm looking for the art room, which I think going this way. Who the fuck? Oh, Kyoko. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Ooh. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Nice. So, um... <laughs> Speaking of bullying characters... Yo, fuck Toko. I hate her now. Uh, at first glance, this looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off, or multiple some things. Yes, this right here. This is what is off about this room. Is this giant, fat sculpture of lard right here. I don't recall, but who's best girl to you? Um, so, best girl is Kyoko. I went for the worst, worst girls off the bat, without meaning to. Uh, Venus statue. Yeah, so I went for all the worst girls. So first I went for Sayaka, and then I went for Toko. And I, I don't hate Sayaka, but I, I kind of just. What a cunt punt Toko, like, every time I see her now. She is not Saki 2 anymore. She does not deserve that name. Saki was nice. Toko is, like, Saki's evil, shitty twin. Oh, uh, this is a statue of Monokuma. Who would ever want to make something like this? <laughs> so the quality is surprising. <laughs> What's this motherfucker? up for me. 
Wow, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. Fumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Makoto, please. We all know the answer to this. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Chironbo Pumpkinhead. I especially admire anything from Saburo Run Pong he makes. Chironbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is as exquisite as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy representing the century's greatest quality. Yeah, he, he does it like, you know, borderline, you know. Saburo Run Pongi. Meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't yes, it? Indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today begins by reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. Not another person to steer clear of. Oh, we gotta look around somewhere. What are we doing in here? Uh, s oh, the, the sculpting tools. Um, it's a locker. There's nothing inside. Great. Oh, are these it? What the hell is that? This is the repository that's attached to the art room and it's used to store different artsy things. What is this? Bro, get the fuck out of here. Shred that. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on my own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in that picture was... Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? I was just started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? But in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean wherever this picture was taken, wasn't here at Hope's Peak? What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't about to read that. I was not about to read that. I was like, what the fuck? That's mine. Give it back. Murakuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo. Any chance I had at answers evaporated. <laughs> you peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, Isn't huh? That they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer, bear? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Yeah, that picture's not going to stick in my memory for any reason. Might as well forget it. There wouldn't mallets hanging on the wall to hit somebody in the head. If I had to guess, I'd use I'd say they use them for making sculptures. It's probably for carving into bones. I think uh I think we're done in here. Picture on the floor. Uh Okay, now we're going to go to the physics lab. Going to leave uh, Jackie's favorite character behind. I'm guessing that the physics lab is this uh, weird city of the future looking thing. <laughs> yep. blood extractor machine. This is the physics lab. So that's like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Yo, so I have some theories, by the way. 
so last time when we ended the episode we saw Chihiro that was clearly Chihiro that we saw at the end I think that Chihiro either either did something or was scheming somehow or being used for his technological you know knowledge mm. hey Taco don't you think this place is like some kind of some kind of research institute? Uh oh. Still no reaction. Oh my god. Yeah, he's. I think his brain is just fried. All right. Um. Ah. Ah, duh. Get out of here. This place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm seriously excited! Why are we in here? <laughs> Leave! It's so tempting. I sort of dumped myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Absolutely disgusting. Please say your theory. Yeah, so... So, Chihiro's scheming... Uh... Oh, another theory that I have. Junko's gonna come back. She was the shadow... So, theory time, and I'm ready to be wrong about everything. She was that shadowy figure that could... That Monokuma said couldn't play her part. Because... I keep seeing pictures of Junko with, like, Monokuma things for her, like, hair that she wasn't wearing before. Like, she's some Monokuma fangirl or something. <laughs> Senorita Swiss cheese. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Whoa, for what? <laughs> Wait, you want to do some quantum leaping? Phew. That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? So it can go back in time? Okay, then let me get in there. I can go back to the past, then I can... So I'll stop Mondo for sure. <laughs> Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. Comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza or bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <laughs> one minute? Huh? You sound disappointed. Actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. Okay, that's good, because that would have just broken the story in a billion pieces. What? Hey. Um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier. In other words, it can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. But what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that... To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. <laughs> God. God damn you. <laughs> uh. Yeah, my favorite characters all all in, all in one place. Yeah, Ta Taka, I got to keep an eye on him. He uh he didn't vote correctly in the last trial, and he was the one that I had to fight. Uh, who just refused to believe that Mondo was a small penis murderer. I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. I don't want to believe that Chihiro, Chihiro is scheming, but it is a possibility. Um... 
Let's see, camera, rotate. Ah, there it is. This is a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. Was this Hafumi's camera? It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Why would you, why would you say that out loud? You just said it in your brain. You may not have said to go to the dining hall, but your brain did, and I think that's fucking good enough. Damn. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... <sighs> beach. Owie. You know? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by all the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Huh? He is having like a, like a donut stroke, like withdrawals <laughs> syndrome. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Donut Withdrawal Syndrome. DWS. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well. Well, my stomach, it kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> I guess my memory is kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. I say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Miss Asahina is pretty mm. much the same, it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people have don't have any room to talk. Ooh. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Sorry. Besides that, you... I can't... I could not talk how Jill looks. It is impossible. Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard! Ooh, stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um... Uh, anyway, th first things first. We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? We might as well go and lay this piece of 2x4 back in his bed mm. and cover him up. No bedtime story, no warm milkies. Correct. He's done for the day. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am now a Kyoko simp. Third, third time's a charm. No more, no more trash waifus. We're going for Kyoko. In the middle of the room, there is a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing there? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Oh. You just fell asleep. Really? <laughs> hey, you know, okay, you want to know something disturbing? Jill is weirdly, has has weirdly been nicer to me than Toko. How fucked is that? Toko, during the first trial, she just like wanted to throw me under the bus so bad. Ugh. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the guide here. It's not that I don't want to talk to everybody. Uh, alright. Oh, I do have to talk to everybody. Alright. I'll start with you. Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. It, it didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Mm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So did you find any protein in there, or even vitamin supplements would be fine? Mm. 
I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. Well, Jesus Christ, now I don't think it's that disappointing. Alright. Quit hiding. <laughs> You're not hiding. <laughs> you can't hide. There's an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate my favorite anime characters. Game, why are we asking Hifumi about this? Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Oh, Perhaps. that's why. Mm, a digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Oh, let's see it. What the heck? Thing is like a kid's toy. Looks like it can store five pictures, maybe? It doesn't have a timer or anything. On top of that, it appear its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing. Rune! She is not strange. She's Princess Piggles. I knew it. I knew this dude knew. From Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this, Hifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest. <laughs> at a big anime convention. <laughs> you have... Any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab. It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However, ah, but look at what? it. It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's not in mint condition. Oh, God, Afumi, calm down. I don't need it anymore. Weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. Oh, my other... Um, my other theory I'm sorry I keep I keep remembering these theories in like pieces uh, I think Celeste is either a robot or she is a big faker she's not an ultimate gambler and she just sucks <laughs> those are my theories I'll be here all week uh, I can't really imagine any of us are gonna need to take pictures True. What do you mean, true? Damn, you guys are clowning on me. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and rooms are blocked off. I wish they'd give this a rest already, for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. Just forget about it. Impossible. Make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Oh. Um... What about you, Celeste? There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. Hmm, will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Too risky, even though I just said that you suck. Speaking of suck, long road to maidenhood begins with a single step. That road may begin with only wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young adorable boys. What the hell are you talking about? Oh god. Kyoko, help. Please help. A gigantic machine is an air purifier? She's stuck on that, but I don't blame her because I think it's bullshit too. But it's also not a time machine. It's like a... It's like a Junko resurrection machine. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byaki a little while ago. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? I didn't even realize he was missing. I didn't even realize Reddit wasn't here. What? You Where? Where was he? What? what? 
You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um. He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, take a shot every time you hear that stupid laugh, but you die. <laughs> I cannot condone that kind of alcoholism on this stream. Uh, we should not concern ourselves with her. Hey, Captain Nothing. <laughs> it's no use. <laughs> He's dead. I can't believe Taka died. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say, so now it's my turn. Um, oh my god, Makoto, are you fucking, he starts his sentence like this, hey, um, no, just fucking tell them, dude, can I tell you guys something, why are you asking, we're all going around, it's like, yeah, you get as much of a turn to talk as, as Captain Silent and, and Pudgy Princess Boy over there. Oh, man, Makoto, he makes me mad. I'm sorry. Can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um. Showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. Well. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Mm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's... Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. More importantly... <laughs> On another topic, there's something that has been bothering me that I'd like to discuss. <laughs> Oops. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually. It's about Hina. Huh? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah! Hina, you... Dummy, you're not telling everybody what you fucking saw last night. <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell, something you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. The reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. Th that's not fair. <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Hina? Makoto is a guy who is a bottom even if he's on top. <laughs> is it okay if I coom? <laughs> God. <laughs> yes. I see. Why would you lie about that? That's it. I'm sure of it. Guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason. Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. 
We, you know, we've had the most unbelievable shit happen to us. Pretty sure whatever you tell us will be fine. The yeah. truth? I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Gina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. Can you tell us exactly what happened? You really mean that, Sakura. Okay, I'll tell you. So, um... It happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about donuts. And I ended up just getting more upset. <laughs> So to try and cheer myself out, to cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Okay, huh? damn it, donuts again! Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know. Sorry, I feel bad about yeah. that. Please continue. But... I left my room and headed for the warehouse. Hey, hang, hold, hold on, hang on, hang on. Why would she head for the warehouse for donuts? Wouldn't she want to head to the dining hall? Isn't that where the donuts would be? I mean, alright. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? <laughs> oh, no way! No. <laughs> a ghost! Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. This is in most cases a paranormal activity. It was born from your weakened mental well, state. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? Even if we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? You're gonna go try and see a g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? <laughs> Someone forgot the rules. Is it nighttime? No, it's daytime right now. Oh, I forgot the rules, because the dining hall is closed. Why would they keep donuts in the warehouse? Well, Hina forgot the rules, too, then. Please. Rule for getting bitch? I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. No, I like Hina. I just like Kyoko more. <laughs> Still. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. What about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you going to wait here? I guess that's a yes. It's always a yes, dude. It's never a no. So, um... It was right here. I saw it here in the dressing room. Um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Shut up! What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina. Where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? No. I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Oh man, it's fucking creepy. Is this the locker? There was something in there. Inside the locker is a laptop. What is something like that doing here? I know where this laptop came from, I think. I remember there was one in the library, and then it wasn't there all of a sudden. Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library. For Got it. Yeah. See, I knew. I knew it. I seen it. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... Yep. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. Ugh. This plot point showing up. No, no, okay, but that, no, that was my question. Why would they keep donuts in the warehouse and not the dining hall?
That's that's why I said that she forgot the rules is because she's not going to the right place for the donuts. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem. And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? I thought it was broken. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps. More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost? <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. <laughs> She's going for the stock. Ew. Warehouse donuts. Think about that. That's no good. Uh -huh. Oh, man. If I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. <laughs> Poor Hita, dude. She just can't catch a break. I swear. Uh, well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. That's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like hmm. that. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare with what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Ooh. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? Well, listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it here. What? If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Yeah. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed there's one big difference between this room and all the others? There's a difference? There's no surveillance camera. Sh I wanted to look around. I wanted I wanted Kyoko to just be like, Makoto, you big dummy, find the answer. Yes, it's me. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Mm. Oh, Fumi. Mm. Hush. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. Oh god, look at your hero's little picture. There are a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. The icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego. Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Th thanks for that, Celeste. That was great. Uh, could you let me see it, Makoto? That Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to us. Oh shit. Master, you're here. Jiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh no! It's a ghost Buddha, sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. Um... Then what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoki began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Holy shit. Oh. Chihiro, why? Why are you not here with us? <laughs> I always get so embarrassed about introducing myself. That voice, that tone, and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI That's program? Right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Dude, Chihiro's such a pro. Support vector machine reinforcement learning? I'm a normie, I just watch whatever's on the television. What's all this? 
To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, okay? Yeah, see, even Hifumi, you see, that... <sighs> Makoto. In other words... But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego. A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? <laughs> I googled it, just like Hifumi said, you dumb normie, shut up. Are you okay with this? Oh, Kyoko got quiet there. Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Robo Twink. <laughs> then he brought the machine to this dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know, all this about master and whatnot. Yes, yes. Oh, Fumi, get out of here. I believe I'm on fire. I thought you were only into 2D. This is the most excellent 2D possible. But he's a guy and also a computer program. I feel as if. That aspect is no problem. I mean. That. Aspect? Anyway. Oh man. You don't know. Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Yeah. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's why. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong, so it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps, the secret of the school. Oh god. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. Smart, it also means the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. <laughs> it's a pretty basic plan, yes, I have indeed. to say. Uh, that is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. But why? Are you okay with have you this? forgotten? Our rooms are complete. All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However, There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing rooms like that. What can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, but if you leave your door open all night, then there's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know, damn, Kyoko's However, brave. I'm not as weak as you may think. I knew it. Kyoko's like the kind of girl that you make one one wrong move and you were getting judo slammed into the dirt on your back. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There's an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. And I knew it. I was, she was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different, because Kyoko's not an asshole. Uh, like someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um, 
Would you mind if I asked a few questions? I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. God, that's it's awful. Like... Somehow I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... It would be him. Dude. I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The eyes seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it because of he was just following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about could us? Could it be? What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. You dumb mother... No, I'm just kidding. I, I, do, I do actually like Hero out of, like, all the guys, I think. I think he's, he's my favorite, like... Well, no, actually, I think Chihiro's my favorite guy. Never mind. But, but I like this guy here, too. Uh, this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <gasps> then that's way too dangerous. The Mastermind would find out in no time. Um... Uh, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Mm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> we'll be back, I promise. <sighs> Come on, Hafumi, let's go. Hi. Okay. Suppose. Look at look at this dude. <laughs> it wants to sit there and drool over an AI. Of another guy. But Hina's like, come on, Hifumi, let's go. And he's like, eh, whatever. Hot swimming girl who likes donuts and lays on bed, like, very partially unclothed. Whatever. Jackie, you are a mod. YouTube shouldn't be censoring you at all. Fat Rat isn't invited to the next meetings with AI Twig. <laughs> yeah, he gets to stand guard. Like, you want to simp? Simp outside. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hino let out a joyful shout. <laughs> isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... Da -da -da, and he has gained experience to level What's up. What's the matter? So what was this awesome something? Monokuma. What the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? Nothing in particular. Mm. Ooh, keeping secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. Denied, denied, super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do so it. What? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? What do you mean, do it, do it? Yes. Ew, gross, you said do it. Just <sighs> what? You said it first. <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hino won the match for us, and that's why we were all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, okay, boys, why don't you head back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We we lost fair and square. 
Well, ladies, shall we go? Fucking playing playing rock paper scissors against Celeste already rigged. No way you have a whatever the odds of rock paper scissors are. That is not it. Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh, oh. Damnation! Nuts and damn it, we totally lost. Another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Um... Yeah, but tomorrow for sure, you'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. So, should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey. Hold on! Hey. Hey. Something strange here, very strange. Strange? What do you mean? What's strange is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? That's... You're absolutely right! <laughs> I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just quietly go back to the dining hall? No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> what? What about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams or adventure or whatever. But anyway, I'm not going to spy on them. I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment that Primo fan service could have been yours. Oh, man, we lost. Game's over. <laughs> when Akuma executed all of us. But to be honest, I even I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. <laughs> oh man, Makoto's thirst forever grows. It's fantasy. Like... My fantasy. Oh, what is Mr. 2D suddenly change his tune? Ugh. I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. Only reason I care is because a good reference for creating figurines. Ooh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. A real live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay, maybe. Man, what a sentence. Imagine saying that. No way. If the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Kyoko crashes through the wall. Guns us down. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls have finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Oh, man, what a nice this bath. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time is a true pleasure. Indeed. <laughs> of course. Wow, they even got a Kyoko smiling. Shit. Normally, after a long bath, I'd like to make myself nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end. That's what I figured. Huh? Actually... We were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're all so terrible to me. My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Well, now, well, now, well, now, well, oh, now. Oh, have I got your attention? <laughs> then let's head to the gym where your presents await. See ya no questions, no dilly dallying, get a move on and everything will become clear. Oh, um. What is it? What are you scheming this time? Everyone gets one of the spears that impaled Junko. It would seem. He didn't wash them either. He's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Ugh. Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find out something that will help us. Correct. So for now, we just have to endure it. Come what may. I've heard someone say something like that at a con before. That's fucking awful. <laughs> Real women are useless to me. Now, I can think of somebody... There's, there's somebody here that's really useless to me. I wonder who it is in this uh, scene right here. Uh, Makoto. Okay, this is us. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym, but when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? Wait a minute! She's normal again! 
To be kept waiting by the likes of you, rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Jesus Christ. Calm the fuck down, dude. Biaki, did you hear, get here already? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I'm gonna fucking punch this guy in his head. Fuck you. Hmm, the same as always, I see her on the other hand. Yeesh, what did he tell you? <laughs> Oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself. <laughs> Yo, that's her name now. Yeah, that's her name now. Toko's name is Debbie. Hm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. Oh, fuck off. Hm? So she, she now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. And yeah, oh, shit. Heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? Shut up, Debbie. I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Ah. So, when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, yeah. huh? Wow, fucking he even Hina's got her figured out. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... <laughs> Big Blue, what are you talking about? Two of the best characters. Excuse me. You guys? It looks like everyone's here, so then let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this However. time? Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. Sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Without further ado, I give you... Do it. Whatever you're doing, don't do it, Monokuma. This... Fuck sad. Ten million dollars! Prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. Okay, so Biaki is immediately not tempted. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars <laughs> is not nearly enough. <laughs> I knew it. It's true. Like, bitch. What is this? When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But this world isn't real, dude. What are you There's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. Hina's so optimistic. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap for serious. They're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money, not even just money, from now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Stop trying to act tough. I can't wait! I can't wait! The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of um... money. There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. Yeah, there might be someone here who's having m money problems. Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. I'm telling you! Man, uh, Debbie, you're doing a lot of projection right now. I think you're the one with money problems. I think those uh, custom scissors are costing you a lot. Fumi, what about you? Nothing! I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my own comics and DVDs. Yeah. Th th then, hey. just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. 
Yeah, my favorite time. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly broken. I am not pressed over $10 million. Okay, Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm. A time already, huh? Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. Ah, oh, Kyoko, please don't do that. Not tonight. Not with the $10 million, dude. Debbie's gonna stab you. She needs more stabby scissors. But just because my door is open, don't assume that that will make me an easy because. target. Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. The voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about that whole money thing, got it? Good, let's break. Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Hmm. Right. Is it your favorite time because it reads for you? Yeah. Yeah, that too. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. I couldn't imagine Makoto saying all these lines, though. Like, when when Kyoko was investigating Sayaka's murder, Makoto's line voicing made me angry. When, when Kyoko said, I'm searching, and he's like, Searching? <sighs> I just wanted to, like, kick him square in the ass. So you were not going to talk to me. You were, you were not going to make me hear that annoying voice. Uh, money. There's no way that's going to get to anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time, it's different. I'm sure of it. This is the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure... <sighs> uh, Makoto being sure about something <laughs> means that it's not going to happen. Is that a... That doll is blinking. Damn. Little kids have it so easy. Because they can just put a little in front of their name, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Well, fine then. I want everyone to start calling me Little Monokuma. See, just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough lils. More littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine a little arsonist, a little war criminal, a little destruction of the environment, a little hit and run, a little death tax, a little great Even depression. The darkest subject can suddenly become brighter! Oh, God. Our dreams are expanding! Is that a gun? Is that a gun down in the bottom right corner? I just shot at Monokuma. <laughs> I was like, dude, your aim is off. Because Makoto keeps repeating everything every other sentence, right? Yeah, that too. I think it would have made them think and condense the dialogue. time is officially over. Time to rise and shine. So it might actually have, have done some good to fully voice Get act this ready game. To greet another beautiful day. Really cut down on some like inconsistencies, not inconsistencies, but uh, repetition. I rolled the lint roller. <laughs> Over the lint. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, I guess no one's died yet. That's good. Although I should get my guide out because... Oh, okay, so this is, uh, this is my free time. 
What do I have for presents? Oh, I guess that's something that I don't really know is, uh... Shit. I gotta see what kind of presents these goofballs like. I think I'm just gonna go for Kyoko. Receiver. Does she even like that? She doesn't. How would she not like this? <clears throat> uh, I think I might need to actually go buy some stuff. They get mad if you give them the same thing twice. It's not even letting me go anywhere. Okay, that's a problem. Is it because... Oh, it's because I have to go to the dining hall because it's a new day. That's right. Motherfucker. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was free time. I should have noticed by the music. My bad. Could it be? So, the people here today are the same as yesterday, just us seven. Mm. Byakuya and Toko are a lost cause, but... It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. It's like he's just given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go all right last Indeed. night? Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but Kyoko seemed to hesitate. <sighs> It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good hey. question. Hey, do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. Um. No, it's just like you said. We need to be very careful. <laughs> Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. I don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. Ah, oh, but you were flapping something else. You went into the dra dressing room to flap something else, didn't you? What? what? To flap that third lip. Fumi. Jeez, why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? <laughs> he went in there. He went in there just a simp. Oh, Fumi. Dude, you're gonna you're gonna fucking tip off the mastermind. We ate breakfast in a rush, and then headed back to our rooms. Okay, now it's now it's time. What should I do today? Sleep.
Get the million dollars to get rid of the rat. <laughs> Fumi, I'm just gonna have you killed. I hope that's okay. You, you'll be you'll be too two D. You'll be in the second dimension after I melt you. See so a flat puddle on the ground. I'm not gonna blow all my coins here, but. I guess getting a repeat wouldn't be that bad, but something like this. Let's do this. Not a very high chance. The fuck is that? A stick? Make Reddit do it so you get voted on. <laughs> All we have to do is just put Hifumi in front of Reddit and he'll get so pissed off. Oh, that's nice. Um, he'll get so pissed off by having to hear him blather about anime that he'll just kill him. And then it's, it's easy. We will never have had an easier case. If only we could get Hifumi talking. So. Bitch, do you like any of this stuff? I'll just give her the cherry blossom. If I even have any more of them. Nope. No more cherry blossoms. But I have the rose. She likes that. Oh yeah, she loves that. Okay. And then... Maybe I'll hang out with somebody else. Also. We'll figure out who likes all that other stuff. Let's find out where Kyoko is. Oh, everybody! Yeah, everybody's gonna be on the third floor. That's right, because they wanna. room is this? This is a physics lab, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yo, so, okay, another part of my theory, sorry, more, more theory talk. I thought the reason why Chihiro wanted to stay behind when, um... Junko died was because he was scheming <laughs> to, like, make her come back to life. Did it not say that Kyoko was in here? Where is she? I don't even see her. Oh, oh my god, she's like right there! What are you doing hiding back there? Ooh. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that means that she wants to... That means she wants to hang out. Correct. You want to spend time with However. me? But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? That's fine. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Give her present. I'm gonna give her that rose. There we go. Yeah. Small rose stored inside a test tube. It's good for both hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate love. Yeah. What? How did you know I was interested in this? <laughs> You're an enigma, Makoto Naegi. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. 
You say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make that sound way easier than it is, especially in these kinds That's of circumstances. We well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. <laughs> Uh, is it there anything I could say to get a reaction out of her? In other words, protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. Correct. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings. But, but that's such a waste. What? Oh, dude, Makoto, you're finna piss her off. Your smile is just so cute. Hiding it behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. What are you talking about? Oh my god. We found it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. What? C cute. It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. It looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? What? But you. Makoto, you. It can't be. You deceived me. Wait. Why? I don't believe this, to use the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. S sorry, I just got carried away, but uh, still, I, I did deceive you, but it's not like it was a total lie. See how easily you yourself are deceived? Oh god, you played us. Huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that, completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy. What? You mean... I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? Makoto, just put yourself in the incinerator, dude. <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. Huh. There's a severed arm here by the incinerator. Uh, Kyoko's report cards. Updated. Unlock the skill Neural Liberation. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. <laughs> neural Liberation. This is... Remove my mind from the world, literally. Ding dong. Oh, uh, what's that? What is that now? What do you want? Taka. Is it true? Can I really see Shihiro? Oh, you mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? Not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way there he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, don't do it. Don't do it. Clear it with Kyoko, dude. Oh, come on. Why don't we just get going? Take me. That wasn't really a good line to read by the bed here. <laughs> Let's just go outside. Uh, hey, Kyoko, help. Please. God, Taka's gonna ruin this for all of us. Where are you going? Hey. Huh? It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall, the warehouse, or something. Makoto, what are you doing? Correct. Well then, I guess that's okay. Are we really about to sit here and lie to Kyoko? Dude, come on. I saw I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Wait a minute. Oh god. Somebody tell Reddit to get back here. Is that Debbie? <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, don't tell me you're gonna you're gonna oh, coom yes. having lost his new brother Taka is ripe for the taking so Makoto swoops in to steal him away <laughs> oh god I severely regretted talking the genocide Jack even if by accident but that doesn't matter right now have you seen Byakuya uh no I haven't jeez good heavens my love is being pushed to the limit 
I'm so glad we're not playing that drinking game, dude. We're really doing this, huh? Huh, Makoto, you fucking genius. Not good. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. We should not be here. How do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly how Taka had asked them. And then... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become, so that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... Fucking around. You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you, Mondo? What are you doing here? Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. That's... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. No. You're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take all the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? <laughs> <laughs> Taka. Oh. Oh no. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Those are words deep within my heart. I think we need to leave. <laughs> They're inside of me. Man, we got a lot of bad. Oh no. What just happened? Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. You. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. Your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. Yeah. Totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. Taka, hold on! I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. Koto, you're a fucking idiot. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing just a room. Second. What do you think you're doing? K Kyoko! Uh, uh, no, see, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. I want to just reach in the computer and slap Makoto. <laughs> I sort of pimp slap him. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. You dumbass. Stupid. Uh. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm ser I'm seriously worried about him. Just lock your door, dude. Fuck. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon, the doors to the dining hall will be locked. 
and uh -huh. entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time for sleep. So mad, dude. What, are you playing Famicom? You want to know why I hate video games? So there we go. You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video game. They, all s they sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right. I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future, either. Okay, uh... Monokuma's just filled with fun. <laughs> it's no wonder... I can't believe that he only had one friend. That's such a shocker. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Alright, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. And tell everybody what happened with Taka yesterday. I hope Kyoko just looks you dead in the eye and says, Makoto, assume the position. And you know what position that is. That's that's bent over. Head as far down as it can go. So she can just kick you right in your taint. I would never. I don't care if Taka stood there for a million years. You know? Yo, I've been waiting, huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Ahead to where? Hey, come on. <laughs> to look at the murder. Uh, I mean, uh, we can talk about it later. For right now, let's go take a bath. Bath? Searching? Oh no, I don't like this music. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Mafumi, what's going on? Makoto, save me! I never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? <laughs> she, she's trying to kill me! Mafumi pointed at <laughs> Kyoko's like, it's true. I want him dead. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. Same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Oh no! Oh no, he coomed all over the keys. Huh? He's soiled alter ego. What were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, I suppose I have to clar clarify myself further. <laughs> Please don't kill me. No, do it. I st I'll, I'll, I will, I will allow it. I think even Monokuma would allow it. Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. Jeez. Oh, boy. Ricardo, don't just look the other way. You gotta help me. Uh, <laughs> how am I gonna help you, dude? Fumi, could you tell me what happened? I just... I was just talking. However. Yeah, with your dick. Which was prohibited, was it not? I, I mean, you see... Talking to her was just so much fun, and I j just... He won't, he, he, he just won't accept it. He won't accept that Chihiro is male. Uh, um... 
Oh, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Fumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Mm -hmm. <sighs> that... I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love, that's... Well... No way. It would seem... <laughs> Is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once, and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? In your eyes just now, I saw the same look in his eyes. No, Shut up! She's not a mannequin, she's an angel! I feel as if... And don't bother telling me angels exist. We have... What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Uh, uh, yeah, you're totally in love. Uh, How did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. But then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. <laughs> God. And it was like, how can I say, it was the first time I was ever t able to talk like that with a normal girl. Oh. She's definitely not a normal girl. Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Afumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. Yo, Chihiro's grabbing data. He's data mining, Afumi. I'm going to read the chat for a second. Let's see. You know what's extra fucked? When Chihiro was revealed as male, he dug the point in, but he's being a creep and keeps saying master. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. It totally is. It's really, really uh, disrespectful to Chihiro's memory. I suppose. It's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me, besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> so it's I was just like... so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I knew it. Better, better sanitize those keys. <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hafumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Shihiro could not have taught it about, for what it is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that, but still... Are you saying it's totally hopeless? You gotta be freaking kidding me! F you! You jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo! Taka, are you back? Who the hell is Taka? Huh? Uh, you? Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the heck? You're uh, who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I I love how he refuses to swear. A swear word refuses to conjure itself in this man's mouth. I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo, so like, Kiondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What, what? What, the, what the heck kind of fusion is this? What's happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what had happened the day before. Yeah, this is your fucking fault, Makoto. Well... <laughs> Uh, so, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um, Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh, ghost? There's no such thing! Uh, what are you all whining about? Come on! <laughs> Big cringe. God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Fumi. Wow. Yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but you. bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. Somebody extinguish this dude. 
and I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, fudging idiot. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has bound me and her together in the Gordian Knot of true love. While me and him have been melded together in the white-hot heat of friendship. Come on, you guys. Moron. Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into your all four of your vital points. I punch at the speed of sound and don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Enough already. Oh no. You guys are about to get capped. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital mm. clues. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. Yeah, you guys aren't ready for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, somebody's suddenly silent. Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I... Y yes so... Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Afumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Yeah, you gotta like escort them back. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Oh, well, anyway, I'll just have to pull myself together. What should I do with the rest of my day? He said he was tired already. I was like, is this motherfucker about to go to bed? Some bullshit. Alright. I should talk to Hifumi, Jackie's favorite character. Let's hang out with somebody else. Um... <laughs> Battle of the Cringe Lords. No, Yasuhiro is not bad at all. I, I kind of like him. I, I didn't really like him at first, but he kind of grew on me. <laughs> Imagine Hifumi saying the word moist. <laughs> then the opposite happens. The exact opposite. No liquid at all anymore. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> are they in the hallway or are they in the physics room? <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> hallway. Right? Did I just totally bypass them? Uh-uh. I don't want to hang out with Reddit. He's such a jerk. Is this map, like, fucking with me? It really is fucking with me. Okay. These two are in the rec room, correct? Yeah. I miss something here.
That is so weird. They they just aren't here. Let's see. Yep, you're still here. I see you, Kyoko. Check this out. No, nope, they're not in here either. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, oh, there's a camera. I was like, is there no camera in here? Yep, there's a camera in here too. Okay. Alright, well, I have no idea where Hina is, so I guess I'm just gonna leave. What is this and why is it blocked off? I don't understand how I can't get over here because that's where they are. It must be the stairs or something. That's so fucking weird. Oh no, they're... You're here. Where's Hina at? Um, yo, this map is a fucking liar, dude. Okay. It just okay. So it said they're in the hallway, but it's like, lol, you have to find them yourself. Hmm. No, 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 no. I I have to reread what Hina okay. just said. The opposite of possible is an impossible. It's challenge. Hmm. That's a quote from the famous baseball player Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember, this is just a challenge. We can't give up. I'll hang out with Hina. <laughs> oh god, I have n no idea what she would even like. Sorry, I gotta look this up. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Uh, present, yes. Uh, hmm. Flotation donut. Do we have any donuts? Sports! <laughs> um. Kenton hair clip. G. Sick. The fuck's that? Um, Astral Boy Doll. Okay, so, sorry, I'm just having a look through here. Someone's graduation album. Nope, not that. Maiden's handbag? Does she like the handbag? Oh, don't tell me. I don't have a single thing that this bitch likes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hungry caterpillar. Uh-uh. I have no cherry blossoms or roses. The girls always either like or love those. A tumbleweed? No, that I gave to Shihiro. Fresh bindings. Oh, I cannot believe that. <laughs> I don't have anything that I want to give her. Nope. Yeah, I'm sure. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, man. 
What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. Not you too. How come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance that's anyway. Right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Hold on, you always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Mm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah, yeah like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Mm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. <laughs> You did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type that gets sick, sick easily? Actually, yeah. I see you're soft. You need more training. Okay. okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist and then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it, uh, what do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Take a shot at this. Is it something like towel treatment? Oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without it getting it a good rub down. Wait, so you went out on your back balcony and stripped down? Are you okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got any. Wow. She's like brave. She cares not for embarrassment. I hate to see you catch a cold or something. Okay, Hina's crazy, dude. Skill points. Cool. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Still have some time. <laughs> Dude can't even go to the bathroom. Need to take a shit? Can't do it. Sayaka died in there. Uh, need to take a shower? Nope. We're just gonna be we're just gonna be Hifumi for the rest of our life because Ma Sayaka. Shut up, Makoto. Don't try that at home, folks. Please. Yeah, no. Hina's crazy. Don't try anything she says at home. Okay, I've got to have something. Actually, I think I want to hang out with Celeste if we still have time. Um, let's see. Oh, I have something that she really likes. Go grind some items. I found an item I'd like to grind. Alright, um... Let's check it out. Let's, uh... Yeah, I probably need to get more stuff, honestly. It's not like anything that I've gotten from this machine is completely useless. I'm just not hanging out with the right people. Also, I'm eating chips. I think knocking it down to this percent should be fine. Radio. Goofy looking radio.
What is it if I just do like one? A piece of shit. <laughs> so we got a radio, like a, a dung beetle ball. Cat dog. I keep getting new stuff with just one coin. Why spend more than I need to? Lucky, ooh. Okay. Oh, uh, glasses for bitch face. Oh, no. Oh, what are we getting now? Two luckies in a row, guys. Oh, yo! Okay. Okay. I don't mind getting repeats of some of this stuff because in that ring that was good. I, the rings are good to have. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's like a ice bird or something. Bow, cool. Ugly, like, chocolate dolls. Like, burnt. <laughs> like, cursed dolls. Kern. Another ring. Not bad. A watch. Neat. Think like a wall banner? I'll stop after this one. Fucking Game Boy Advance Micro. Looking good. Alright. Well, we got plenty of stuff now. That's good. The rose is definitely a big... A big item to get. Because girls either like it or love it. The only girl that may not like or love it is probably, uh. Probably. Sakura. Kitchen. Okay, that's where she is. Yeah. I want to know a little bit more about Celeste before I go, like, writing her off like I do Debbie. Okay, so Hina's crazy. We know Hina's crazy. Ah, Makoto. I should tell you, I have recently seen the shadow of death upon you. <laughs> That's just a little joke. Try hang out with Celeste for a while? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It seems I'm growing used to your deplorable face. This is another aspect of adaptation, I suppose. <laughs> My face is what, bitch? Your shit's so caked in makeup. You're more makeup than face. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. <laughs> you bitch. Definitely. Uh, what do we want to give her? Uh, we want to give her the love status ring. Uh, wear it on your right hand. You're looking for love. On your left, you found it. On both, well, that's just asking for a catastrophe. Well. I can have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> Is my face a little less deplorable now? The more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> Makoto, I'd like to share something with you. What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Indeed. Is there really such a thing? I think I I think I remember because I already hung out with her. Uh yeah, it's just have strategy. Oh wait a minute, maybe this is different. The exciting part about gambling is there power No, she talks about luck, that's what Indeed. it is. Yeah. Actually. There are two types of luck, good and bad. There's no in-between. So just have luck? 
Well. Whatever, Celeste. Your perfect gambling strategy is just to have good luck. So that's all there is to it, huh? You were the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? I hope you are well. Yeah, maybe one day. So dumb. <laughs> Celeste, you're so dumb. Get me all hyped up with your perfect gambling strategy. It's just nothing. Great! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. <laughs> okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. If Sleep you tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. If you took off Celeste's makeup, she would just be a skeleton. <laughs> That's how much she has on. <laughs> it's just a bunch of clay packed around a skeleton. Happy New Day. I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. What's different about this? Like a... Oh, the, uh... Once again, the rock decoration. Day. Okay. Oh, do I have to listen to Monokuma again? Ugh. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I better get to the dining hall. I wish I could just teleport there, to be honest. Kind of lame that I can't. Oh. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know. Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. <sighs> I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? <laughs> don't put me on the same level as that, that virgin. I might catch his virginity. <laughs> oh, this guy. This guy right here. He wants you to know. He wants you to know. He has had the pleasures of the keyboard, alright? He wrecked that keyboard. But... Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Ooh! <laughs> yes, a hero did not pull that punch. He did not pull that punch. Maybe try hanging out with Celeste Mountain again today. <laughs> the mountain of makeup. Wait, can, can you really catch it? <laughs> God, that's so dumb! Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food... Uh, no, 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 no. Leave my hands alone. That voice. The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. No. No. Wrong. So in the end. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and That's enough. Don't bother asking me why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. <laughs> yeah, you guys were You guys were pressing it together. Yep. I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing red lingerie today. Uh, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second, you. Hmm? Have you reached that certain age? What's your top power level? Like, 
35, 22, 33, you start up big on top and try to look thinner down south. Look at your melons, they're seriously gargantuan. Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? You're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness! You lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. So, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Yeah, that's because nobody likes you, dude. Are you talking about Alter Ego? I wouldn't tell him. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Because of certain circumstances. <sighs> Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? This isn't a democracy, or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off, so I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. Dude, she's, she's not pulling any punches either. Celeste has had enough of his shit. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Such interesting? Ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. This <laughs> is such a dick. We're trying to have breakfast. And he brings Debbie Downer in here. And starts and starts talking to us about justice. Yeah, fuck off Reddit. You're not allowed to touch the computer. Your internet privileges have been revoked. No Roblox for you, young man. That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? <laughs> Seems I am unwelcome here, then I will grant you your desire and remove myself. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. Ugh, mm -hmm. that face, though. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Miyagi has started to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed, and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. Oh, <laughs> he ran away. So now he's running and hard to get, I see. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so, at the end there, what was that all about? Uh, um, Just now, Biaki was like, uh, maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. He brought the mobile sound effect in and just started being a dick. <laughs> yeah, met, ha, Jackie, make that your ringtone. Or your, like your text message noise for when somebody sends you a text. It's, it's just Genocide Jill laughing. Got more free time, huh? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna find Celeste again. That's what we're gonna do. She likes being in the rec room, I see. Hopefully this is the rec room, hopefully... Yep, okay. I would power dunk that device immediately, <laughs> yes. I think most people you? probably would. Ah, Makoto, how are you? Um... Let me see if I have anything that's uh, for her. Rose hip tea, love status ring, rose whip, antique doll. She likes the antique doll, okay. Indeed. I have an antique doll. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I'd be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. 
So I've just gave me the business. Oh no. If I could strip poker, we're naked. And Celeste is just wearing our clothes on top of her clothes. Alright. Um... Oh gee, I got two of these rings. Okay. I... You don't want to know what I read this as. This God of War charm. You just don't want to know. Um... Antique doll. That's what I wanted to give her. A porcelain doll. Due to the exquisite craftsmanship of the doll and its clothing, many people still collect and prize them to this very day. You you know you know, Jackie. You know. Interesting. The gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. Mm, this is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Makoto, do you like Mahjong? Uh, I've never actually played. Most unfortunate. That's so a pity. I was hoping we might play together. Are you good at it? Yes, indeed. Good? No, I am not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette, Mahjong, and won. Oh, God. Russian Roulette? Mm. It was truly a fierce contest put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. My opponents were a fierce old man and a silver-haired boy who was said to have the devil's own luck. We played with a modified rule set. I remember well the glass tiles we used. And you won? Mm -hmm. I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted looks on their faces. The crowd that had been invited to watch became positively riotous. No one could believe I had won. That is one of my fonder memories. It's just bits of skull. I'm really glad I didn't agree to play Mahjong with her. Yeah, the cute radio. I don't know who likes the cute radio. I have not seen... I have not seen that show up yet. Un uh, unable to comprehend Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. He don't likes it? Okay. Um... Kyoko's still mad at us, I bet. Um... Duh! Is hanging out with is hanging out with her. That was just genocide Jill. So it's completely different hanging out with her than it is to hang out with Debbie. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense. Hey, she's the sixteenth student. There she is. Alright. Uh Okay, who should I hang out with? I really don't know now. Let's hang out with somebody else that I don't usually hang out with. Uh. Oh god, it's Reddit. Okay. Maybe we can hang out with Yasuhiro. I haven't, I haven't hung out with any of the guys. Let's see what he likes. That's a hero likes. Crystal Skull. Oh, and the Golden Airplane, easy. Yeah, he, he likes a lot of stuff I have. You know? Hey, come on. A gift from the gods. Let's see. Hero showed me a scar on his back, though I didn't really get what it meant. 
Hero and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yeah, let's give him something. I think that Golden Plane should do just fine. Astral Boy Doll, that's what it is. But it's still a radio. It's a radio to us. Cute radio. Um... I'll give him this thing. The golden sculpture is said to represent a plane or spaceship. It was found in ruins in Colombia dated to around 1000 CE, indicating to some that this represents an oop art. Oh yeah, I remember being confused reading this because I have no idea what the fuck it means, but yeah, here you go. You're saying I can have this? Yeah, take it. <laughs> I don't want to read its description anymore. <laughs> um... All of a sudden, I feel invigorated. I feel awake. I feel like I like you. Seeing Hero pleased with something I made, I gave him makes me happy. Could it be? Koto, you know what I think? You and me meeting like this, it wasn't a coincidence. Hmm. I've got some good news for you. I'm going to give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. A discount? How about that? Normally, it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it nine hundred. Only nine hundred dollar? Wait a minute. That's only a hundred dollar discount, and even then it's way too expensive. Don't be mean! Hey, come on. You should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell your future. You sure couldn't tell yourself out of this, could you? So, are you right pretty often? Well? I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got a 20% chance of accuracy. 20%? <laughs> that sounds pretty sketchy. What the heck? For real? Don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um, how about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. When did you see it? Well, You won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. I refuse, deny, don't like it. I'm right, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you don't like it, that's just the way it is. <laughs> oh no. Don't predict some weird relationship, dude. I don't want it. 20%? You know? At least. I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll be $1,000, please. Don't worry, you can pay me after we get out of here. But hold on. There's no way you're going to be right, right? Hmm. If you like, I can do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? Let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. God, he, he's gonna be my wife's boyfriend. This is bad. Do I have enough in my bank account to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. I can see how people could fall into that kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you, whatever else happens, don't let him be right. Like the skill lost in thoughts all alone. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Yay. I'm going to be the wife's boyfriend? Okay. Maybe maybe we're in the clear. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's something by the door. Which door? Uh-oh. Piece of pa paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Kyoko writes, Dear Makoto, shut up. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can I can't check it out now. Great dining hall it is. What, what, do you want to fleece me for another thousand dollars? Makoto, 
Hero, then leather. You know. Letter I found in my room. Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Mm. Well, I always was taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught him that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked. Kyoko? Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. I'm serious? It's on act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? Uh, you got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be, but me and Hero hurried to the dress dressing room. Now, oh, this this dude thinks he's actually gonna see some ass. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you. <laughs> Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. I need him and Debbie to get into, like, a a world war. Like, over in the corner while we all watch. It's almost ten o'clock. You know that bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> what? What did you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka. He seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. <laughs> well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. You got a, you got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? What the heck? Rude, a maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. My face just got smaller reading that. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, come on. Anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? We gotta have something... It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right! Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Oh, look at that face. Kyoko's like, you dudes are way... Way... Too optimistic. It's gone. What? Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. Search of Fumi now. Raid that dude's pockets and his room. No Tear way. that shit apart. FBI, open up. You're kidding, right? Oh. oh but she's gone? F you. you can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have only been him. Without a doubt. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. Hmm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you! You're the suspicious one here. You nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation! Wait, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> Wrong, it's you. You're serious. I'm sure it was 
one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. <laughs> I think that would just happen anyway, no matter who it, it was that they walked in on. But yeah, um... It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> or on it. But I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. But... Then who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. It must have been... One of us must have been the That's thief. Terrible. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? A traitor? It's... It's not possible. Something that horrible. Th there's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you stuck... Struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who... Someone... Anyone save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it. Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground, just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least... I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe for the moment, at least. Yes, if indeed. They, if they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else. Damn it. That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a yelling man. I swear, I will save her! Fuck. I don't like Dig Dog Big Bog, dude. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you are too tired? We will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <sighs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree. If we went around tonight in a panic, the Mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if just for tonight you can try to endure it. These dudes are going to go around... Dragon Ball Z fighting each other around the school all night. This is fine. Trying to search for Alter Ego. Hm. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the Mastermind. Sounds like something a spy would say. Alter Ego gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope and then that and when that hope was taken away, despair <sighs> It's just like just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then could it really be true? Whoever stole out your ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? Man, Makoto, you think talk way too much. 
It can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yell that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. I threw myself onto the bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. For long, I fell into restless sleep. Hey, snacks. Nobody died yet. <laughs> so there's that. Actually, somebody uh, is kind of partially alive still. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Is that a hammer just, like, hammering Monokuma in the crotch? I, I just noticed that right before Good morning, <laughs> right everyone. before it switched scenes. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Today we have to look for alter ego. Uh, first things first, to the dining hall. Whoa, what happened? When I found out what was waiting there for me. Okay, we went to the dining hall. I accidentally had it on auto. And yeah, <laughs> Jackie is cute. This is it. What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However, anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. We decided to wait in case anyone else showed up, but no matter how long we waited... <laughs> it's just <Hi>. nighttime. <laughs> so it's 8 p.m. No, it's not. It's still morning. It's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Hero and Celeste never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Fumi and Taka. They're more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. It would seem I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Ten million dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow -y. wow wow am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. <laughs> That is hilarious. I don't know why, like, out of context, that's... That is just so... That's such a funny thing to say. Don't tell me someone did something for money. That is insanely ridiculous. <laughs> that's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. Good. Yeah, don't say that. Uh, I understood and hated that I did. <laughs> I did so <laughs> Don't tell me someone did something in a, in ex a, a good or service in exchange for uh, of cash. That that is just insane. Um, no it's snacks. That's cool. Uh, I wish I could see it. Cause that sounds really neat. Um, anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Hey. Not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Mm. Okay, let's go track them down. So, without another word, we're leaving the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. 
Okay, then I'll check the third anyway. floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. Hey. I really hope nothing happens. Well, then. so do I. Let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Oh, you can just DM me now. It's not gonna. It's not gonna bother me. Or, or just enjoy watching this, and then you can just DM me whenever. Um. Okay, I don't see anything suspicious in here. Actually, I might need to. I mean, I need to go to the guide here, because otherwise I'm just gonna be looking around. Whoa. What? That was Hina. You're supposed to be checking the third floor. There's no time to think. I was running for the stairs. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor and I saw Hina in the hallway. Please! Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open and when I looked inside I saw... What did you see? I, I better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I can say anything, she's so rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? At this point, I was used to acting without thinking. The first thing I saw when I got into the rec room was... Oh god. Celeste. It was Celeste and she was hurt. Makoto. Celeste, what happened? I was... stupid. I got attacked. By who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. <laughs> Justice hammer? There's something written on the head. Justice Hammer 1. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I curse my lack of daily exercise. You were attacked with this? Kodo, Celeste. Okay. I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some sort of strange man. Mm -hmm. Strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Uh. It all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. Anyway, this is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious. So I decided to follow him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, but which is when he noticed me and that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So just after 7. That was one hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. It was because I begged and groveled for my um, life. You did? As for me. I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it I took. See. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Dude, I think she just wanted to lick boot. <laughs> anyway, the important thing is that we go search for this suspicious individual. We do not hurry. This could become a serious problem. I agree. So, what do you mean a serious problem? When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Ifumi. Ifumi? 
After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Uh. Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Indeed. Showed us. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Let's see it. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. A strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, dude, it's one of those it's one of those mech enemies from Persona 4. <laughs> it just came out and got a Fumi. <laughs> the mech attacked the fuzz. Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Huh? Indignant machine. Is that a robot costume? Okay. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. Yes. So this weird guy dragged Hifumi away? Okay. And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why, if we don't hurry, it could become a serious I problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. <laughs> Hifumi's about to be, uh, taken down to the bathhouse, if you know what I mean. Point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away, and it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. Do you mean do you mean it happened over an hour ago like when Celeste said it happened over an hour ago? Holy shit. Let's see. Uh when they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. Okay. So they were headed toward the stairs leading down the second floor. He must be down there, right? Mm. The second floor, that's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko um. here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look this for is her. Bad. If the strange man had did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry, Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed down out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey you two. What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? Get out of my fucking way, Reddit. <laughs> yeah, you guys playing a game or something? Oh, both of you, I'm gonna slam both of you into the wall, either side. Get out of my way. Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen H Kyoko or Hifumi? Nope. Nope, sure haven't. <laughs> Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. <laughs> we came here together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain That's later. Fine. Hmm, fine. Sounds like something interesting is going okay. on. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, Reddit. Afumi, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something. Voice echoed down the hall in vain. Oh. Did you hear something? Mm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the okay. library. Alright. Let's get to the fucking library. When we open the door to the library. <laughs> oh, God. They struck... They struck him. It hurts. It hurts. We found Hafumi seriously injured. It's a good thing the fucking nurse's office is open. Get him in there. Are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. Mm -hmm. Super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? Mm -hmm. That guy hit me. What guy? Mm -hmm. Robo Justice. That's what I decided to call him just now. What did you say? What are you talking about? The guy was Robo Justice. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? <laughs> This is unforgivable! That's him, I'm sure of it. Robo-Justice! It can't be! 
Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is Justice Hammer 2. On top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right in the head with it. Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey. Protein helps heal the wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> not funny, Monokuma. Oh. It's him. <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so that we could take care of his injuries. Mm. Oh, no. How are you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? Um, I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I was so kind of dizzy, though. So then, Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose. Well, then. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Before another victim appears, Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So, in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Um... I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor and that's where the strange costumed man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed around 7 this morning. Wow. After that, he dragged me into the library and whack, down came the hammer. I must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. Around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. We all have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, sure, okay. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What an author. What an award-winning author. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Anyway, so that means that Byakuya and Toko were together at the time. <laughs> they were they were making more laundry in the laundry room. So they also have alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi had attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, Very right? strange. By the way, what happened to Hyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um, yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. <sighs> Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's She it. might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Afumi were attacked, so <laughs> I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words, I'm referring to what we talked about last night, who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible, what? isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, who ha hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well, then. Let's go. Hmm. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. What to do? What to do? What are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. 
Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor, then. You bastard, you won't get away from me. We all shot towards the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. I've never seen Celeste this, like... Like... Just distressed before. Distressed well. Celeste. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second. Anything, it doesn't matter. So then, then is ha! Okay. What are you saying? Ha or doya or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> doya, I've never heard such a reaction. Mm. Whatever, just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. Man, <laughs> Celeste love Oh no. Hey Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya. We spread out in every direction to track down the costumed suspect. Oh, jeez. Um... Yo, I probably maybe need to check here. Any robots hiding in here? No? Okay. A strange cry. It had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. Everyone. Over here, everyone. Everyone heard the scream come came Just running. Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone right like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Ah. What is it now? Don't show me that. I don't want to. I don't want to see mid-frame Debbie sneezing. Huh? Huh? It's really true. That doesn't matter right now. Uh oh. That was a Fumi. Just give it a PJ. <laughs> Oh no. Oh YouTube, please. Do not ban. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What? What about the suspect? We've gone all of this trouble to capture him, right? Mm. Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So Very well, then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Baya Bayakuya. So then. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Alright, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs on the first floor to treat Hifumi's coom addiction. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go there. There we go. <laughs> we started in the nurse's office, and what greeted us was a world of Dripping crimson. What? Oh my god. Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all of this red was Fumi. No! What the it looks like something very bad has happened. No shit. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. No way! Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. What the... That was 
the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It must mean Hifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. We know what it is. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected, one strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer... There can be no doubt the suspicious individual, going by what Hifumi called him, the culprit must be Robo-Justice. Wait, you saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. How did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they, like, teleported or something, Are right? You okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now, we have to tell the others. You're right. So then... then, shall we go? <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Huh? huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. Sorry, I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of... Mm. This is a problem. We can't... Just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I leave it to you, then. Alright, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. So everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Ugh. Further down into the hallway. And I'm going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway? Um... So, it's not that. Oh, I think it's the physics room. Yeah, we're gonna go in here. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. Still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence is coming from over there in the back. I leapt through the doorway, and when I did, I found... Another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Oh my god! Dude, what the fuck? There in a pool of his own blood was Taka, dead. Oh my god. Fumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. Oh my god. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. They weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. A true nightmare is this reality. The reality I have to face every day. But still. Dude, holy shit. Why is this happening? Oh, the third body. We can't have three bodies. Toko? Don't tell me. Toko, too? No, she just fainted because she saw the blood. Relax. She just passed out when she saw the blood. Thanks, Reddit. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko... She has a fear of... When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, right? We've tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. You guys should also just leave the room. I will examine her thoroughly. Another hammer. Now it's just Justice Hammer 4, and it's even bigger. 
Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However, why is it Justice Hammer Four? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer One, and Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer Two. But this time it was Justice Hammer Four. What happened to Number Three? Ah. Uh, What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Talk is not the only one that's been killed. Ifumi's dead, too. What? Hey! Ifumi's been killed? Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we'd better go check it out. Damn. Of course, come on. Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics oh. lab... Ah. Sless, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? S something has come up. Hmm. I heard. Hifumi is dead, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that is not all. It is gone. What's gone? It has disappeared. Okay. Hifumi's body has disappeared. What? What, what, did you what are say? you talking about? It's disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Hifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? <laughs> I bet Hifumi's still alive. <laughs> he just got up. It just wandered away. <laughs> Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But we were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back... Mm -hmm. Why are you two going to the bathroom together? Well... I don't know, I guess... I guess it's better than to go alone and risk getting hit by Justice Hammer number 22. <laughs> I want to see Justice Hammer 22. It's like a big, like, King DDD Hammer. Uh, this must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying carrying 340 pounds of Hifumi? I don't think so. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. We're all going to die just like those guys died. Wow, Celeste is getting fucked up over this this is a this is a new celeste what what did you I say i don't believe this i don't believe a body would just disappear Why? first there were two murders and now one of the bodies has been taken this is unnatural huh? what do you mean two murders Nina. taka has been killed we found him in the equipment room no way it can't be taka too it can't be it can't be no! That immediately takes away one of the suspects. Ina, Ina, calm down. We're all gonna die, all of us. They're just gonna kill all of us. <laughs> then who might the next target be, Toko? What? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well. You left the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious. Damn. So you knew she was up there, and she said and said nothing. Why? That annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Bastard! Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting. Right now we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Byakuya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> hmm. Dude, yeah, he's he's an asshole. Just like disregarding Debbie's life like that. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed, and when we got there, Toko. Thank God you're okay. But right away, I noticed there's something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, has disappeared. This, this is can't be happening. Are we all hallucinating this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. 
the drive, huh? the serious will to coom is so great that both of these guys came back to life and are still searching for that laptop. I just know it. I know that's going to be the answer. There won't be a murder this chapter. What? Are you saying Taka disappeared Stop too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't, it didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. Why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Hm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? No. Um, hmm. When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone he here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split into two groups. Hm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Fumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love? That's not it. That's fine. Except it is, but okay. Uh, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see... Which means that suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than Hero. <laughs> which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. You can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... <laughs> I'd mince you. Mince you without a second thought. Mince you, grind you, turn you into paste. By the way, did you know that fish paste can also... Refer to shellfish like shrimp or crabs? Hm. Thanks, uh, Monokuma. That was great. Let's see. Indeed. So, since two people have been killed, there's no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. Two missing... Please, yes, Makoto. Yes, explain. Uh, two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? She's not involved in this case. Where did she what? go? Makoto, what's the matter? Uh, it's nothing. Hmm. Whatever. We need to find those bodies or our little narrative here can't move forward. <laughs> so then. Very well. Let us split up and begin searching. Hey. But there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. I, mean, I know that. I mean, I think I do, Gina. but if you're still nervous, I'll come with huh? you. Okay, thank hmm. you. No need to thank me. <laughs> Let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. I could have left the equipment room followed by the others I have to try and find the two missing bodies <sighs> ah. alright where were we just now we were in the physics room So go back to the rec room. Okay, so what I'm what I'm gonna do, I will do the investigation since I have a guide for it. I don't think I could do. I don't think I could go through a trial. I don't think I don't think a trial is in our our future for this particular stream. Um, but I will go ahead and do the investigation. Cause I could at least get all the evidence gathered. <clears throat> Shit, I need some water actually. Do I have any water? I don't. Uh, coffee will have to do. Okay. What do we got? Alright. Oh, oh, I have to go to the art room first.
All right, so uh, we're gonna examine the door. Huh? The door must be locked. Um, that's strange that that door would be locked. Celeste. Was she really attacked with this justice hammer? What the heck is with this thing? Yeah, I gotta make sure that I'm doing this right. Oh, I need to... Damn it. Okay, so... Is that the equipment room right there? That's a repository. Okay, I need to go back into the physics lab, I guess. Okay, we need to investigate these two things right here. This thing. Uh, when Debbie is Debbie, she has a fear of blood. I don't think we have to worry about anyone else dying, so I'll just leave her alone for now. Another one of these hammers, and it looks like it's made of wood, even bigger than the others. Justice Hammer 4, is that the work of this suspicious individual? Anyway, Taka's entire body has disappeared, leaving behind nothing but a blood stain. Alright. <sighs> Makoto. Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. You mean Indeed. I found them. Ifumi and Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. <laughs> oh okay, bye, Reddit. Uh, I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies are in the repository. How did they get in there if the door was locked? Are the bodies here somewhere? Up ahead is the repository. The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked, and I have no choice but to go inside. Why the fuck was it locked in the first place? I opened the door. And when I entered... I saw... Jeez. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. This dude's just a fucking regular Hemingway. And then I heard the announcement a second time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Hmm. It's the Monokuma file! Great! <laughs> I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies for the first time, but I thought something might happen. What? It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Stop talking. Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting now, for you. Make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later. Hmm. And we got like zero evidence right now. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Hold on. How can you be so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible. Dead, gone forever. They're never coming back. Awful. This is all just too awful. He has suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, Damn, dude. Who would do this? 
Why? Why? Stop. Stop it. Stop the cap. Stop the cap right now. This wasn't... Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? Where am I? <laughs> I knew it. The power of Coom. It brings life. Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Huh. That's right. He <laughs> couldn't hammer through all of his thick fat. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> his memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. <sighs> the light. Oh no, we're actually going to watch him die. It's reaching out to me like the tail of a comet. Hey, Ifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute, undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed on his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. <sighs> this isn't... <laughs> We know this, Reddit. Shut up. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. What do you mean unnecessary? He just said Yasuhiro's the one that killed him. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. <laughs> He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hakagure. Or Hagakure. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Fumi. Yo, hang on though. And then going so far as to hide their bodies, a criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero what is? is I don't think so. If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way I can ever forgive him to kill two of our friends. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Mm -hmm. You know that's not you know that's not how this is gonna go down. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through it mixed up just a little bit. So let me... Okay, so. Check the Monokuma file. Victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kyo... Taka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. They thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it. Very strange. It's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem after all the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There's something else that's bothering <clears throat> me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Perhaps. Kyoko? Without a doubt. She has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? Accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Monokuma Don't be appears. rude. I'm here to answer your question. 
What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I, during the first class trial? He did, actually. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear, if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So, are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, Sorry, um... can't ask for that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, Phew. only one Blacken can graduate, an accomplice gets nothing. So, in other words... Then we only need to figure out who that one Blackened is that did the killing, right? Just like normal? Well... Okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is the one true Blackened who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true Blackened, so just one person? Well, That's enough for explainifying. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the Blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. There can only be one black and an accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after <laughs> all. You may be right. Um, if that's true, then Kyoko, where are however. you? As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further so, information. Um, you know... Don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect in this case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. What? 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 I'm offended. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> you summoned her. Don't talk about her. You, uh, when did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway. You there, milk sack swimmers girl. Huh? Milk sack. You gotta be kidding. Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Oh, I mean, you are a serial killer. What? So what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Afumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious on the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not going to kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging Let's about. See. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing so again. Bad. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure. I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. That's that. Let's begin. Okay. This whole thing is just so strange. All but one of us has an alibi. Figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Yeah, dude, we got big, big problems. All right. Dead birdie. Taka, he'll never move again. According to what the Monokuma file said, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that was what was used to kill him? There's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp. Fumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big from the nurse's office to where he was discovered to here, the repository, all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it? How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Fumi himself. If I remember correctly, Fumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which was laying on the floor of the nurse's office. Oh, wait. Something's off about his body. 
Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different about Fumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it, his glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now they're completely clean. Does this mean someone wiped his glasses off? And who would do that and why? Weird. Okay. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, though some are more like mallets. Mallets. Could the Justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Uh. Okay. Something else in here, too. Ah, it's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. But wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? And look at the wheel. It has a blood stain on it. There's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was used to move the equipment... Move from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? by. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died, he said Hiro's so name. In other words, then there's no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see? <laughs> I mean, he is kind of dumb, but do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding what? somewhere. And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? No, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easy, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. <laughs> The other thing that bothers me is, why did they bother killing two people? What? All the rule says is if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Perhaps. I see, so that's what that means. Everything alright? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. <laughs> What's with the attitude, Reddit? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious one's words hung in the air as he left the repository. Hmm. Talked as if he found something out, but if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? Apparently. Hmm. There are many aspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then... Do you like my help? Yes. Let's look back mm. on things. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Hmm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. Soon, soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Mm. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Hmm. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Hifumi away. Huh. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costumed assailant. 
We found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search, but not long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? Oh yeah, the shadow at the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then right after that, Celeste screamed. This time, she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we, qu we quickly made our way to the third floor. Celeste saying that she saw the strange costume man heading further down the hallway. Mm. And then... That was when Hifumi screamed. Yep. At that point, we decided to split into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, you, Ryakia, and Toko pursued the suspect up on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi's corpse. Which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However... But at that same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room, which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time, because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you and Byakuya that Hifumi had been killed, right? And you, me, and Byakuya all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko, who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who had just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Pumi's body disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Then we remembered that we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. Yeah. I remember. This time, Taka's body had disappeared. So from there, we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some time, mm. Celeste told us she'd found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. There we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. Oh, man. Sakura's voice is very, uh... Requires some hydration. Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. Okay. Um. So, um. Makoto, I've been thinking about something about the repository. Hmm. After Fumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we sped up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura are stuck oh. together. We came to the repository to look around, but when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. Hmm. It was locked? We came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here. Actually, I fucking beat you here, and it was locked, but okay. If that's true, then who locked it, and why is it unlocked now? I wondered the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There seem to be some secrets lurking in there. We're about to leave to figure it out. There's definitely a lock on the door, but can only be locked from the inside from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from inside the repository, which makes me wonder. Uh they confirmed that it was locked. The door is designed that so it can only be locked from inside. In other words. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Duh. When they were done, they unlocked it and left. Mahina claims there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that's certain someone. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. 
to check somewhere else. Not nurse's office, equipment room. It's like a hidden like Team Rocket poster somewhere. It's just right here. All right, going back there. Duh. All right, check out the hammer added to our evidence. Justice Hammer Four. Um, I think we already did this. Some kind of tire mark going down here. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on the tire. Ah, I see. So it's not just where they dragged Taka away. Here. This could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should have definitely been possible. Even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Fumi? Fumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. This tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and it's just recently, too. Oh, God. <laughs> the noises that Jill makes is just... They're entertaining in some fashion. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I was super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. <laughs> God. Okay. Um... Okay, so, oh yeah, yep, talk to Debbie, um, okay, going to the nurse's office, that's where we need to be. I believe that's on the first floor. Have a good night, uh, Big Blue. Alright, so I'll talk to Celeste for a little bit. What are you... Oh, what are you investigating, Celeste? I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. <laughs> She's just... She is on a warpath. She's like, I will burn down everything until I find him. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's Let's body. See. How how Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hino was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. She seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Mm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time. Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Celeste account. Okay. I, have an, I have another suspicion of who it is. Justice Hammer 3. 
Um, refrigerator. This thing, right? A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. <laughs> Fucking Koto. You're a numbnut. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here for blood transfusions, I guess. Doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Trash can. It's just a normal trash can. Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. It's got some kind of cartoon character on it. It's also covered in blood. Oh. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there's a cleaning cloth in the trash what? can. A cleaning cloth. It's all bloody. Whoever this must belong to must have used it to wipe up some blood. Who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Me either, but I think it might be important. Maybe Hifumi cleaned his own glasses. Hmm. Hmm. So, this is where you were. I've been looking for you. Oh, you have, Senpai? Oh. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. <laughs> you should go to Hero's Room, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. The penmanship was pretty remarkable. It's all clear. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. I've already repaid my debt. Thanks, bro. Goodbye. He said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there, Hero, with a fucking Justice Hammer 5 just for us? Alright, um. So, I want the one with all the dorms, I guess. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Yakuya did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm going to take the plunge. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where did he even get it all from? Dude, that camera's freaking out. It's just like... <laughs> His room is so weird that his camera just, like, wants to glitch in and out of existence. Uh, more importantly, he still has it turned up, which means he, he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Yo, camera, calm down, dude. Jeez. Okay. Um, let's take a look. These weird boxes. There's something inside a cardboard box. It's blueprints for something, and some things made out of. It looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Oh god, this is all the hammer materials. Is this Robo Justice? It's in Hero's room, but wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Alright. 
Koto, big news, big news. What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? I wasn't done. There's more big Just news. Robo Justice showed up too. Hmm. Robo Justice, it's Hero wearing a costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. I think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. Okay. Sorry, but I sound a little far away there. Jeez, guys, could you be a little bit more further away? Kyoko, what is your problem, lady? Kyoko and... I mean... <laughs> Whew, man, I have had the worst day. <laughs> I love this. Hero? Um, Hero... Oh, hey, Makoto. Who else would I be? That's a good huh? question. Why do I look like this? Did, did someone come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it the Illuminati? <laughs> Hina, please. Milk sack, please. <laughs> Tell me something. Robo Justice finally made his appearance, huh? I guess Kyoko's the only one that found him. Right. I found Hero. <laughs> he was jammed into the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and then woke him up. Don't be mean. I can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. <laughs> Kyoko gives no fuck. She's kicking that ass awake. Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without wow. a trace. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Never mind. Hey. Top men. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the yeah. mastermind? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like I that. Mean... Uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep. I don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up. Then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Something about that. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, um, Let me out of here. I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong. I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. It would seem. The Okay, so I noticed something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like caress my face with your milk sacks to wake me up? Um. No, so I noticed something about those blueprints. The handwriting on them is fucking awful. Uh, it looks like a kindergartner wrote the features on there, so. It's not. It's not his handwriting. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. Oh yeah, it's like a luggage clasp or something. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but we slowly were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but we got all the pieces <laughs> off. Free at last! Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero would have been able to wear that uh, costume. Um. Oh, hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Okay? In other words, <laughs> it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, Could me too. Be? That's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking That's everyone terrible. was Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. I wouldn't want him killing anyone else. What? Let's tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think it's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um... attacking blueprints. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. You're not gonna talk your way out of this one. 
It's been decided. You killed them. Please. Oh, what? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running what around. Insane. You're the only one that can wear this costume, so who else could possibly be the costume attacker? The How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. <laughs> Without missing a bit. Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. <laughs> See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Oh, come on, hero. Don't say stuff like that. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. Oh. Well... Now you're all out of excuses. <laughs> Dude, Hina got you. You're dead. No, no, see? It's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... Makoto, go ahead. Ooh! Reddit. He immediately looked at us and said that. <sighs> Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can Just wear this. See, I told you it was impossible. They should have had a picture of him trying it on. And Reddit just like sweating and blushing. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Then uh, there's another costume. They m must have one that looks the same, but it fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence. <laughs> You claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <gasps> what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? <laughs> Here's the only one without an alibi <laughs> during this whole thing anyway. He just looks so hilarious when she's angry. That's terrible! Which is how we know it was him. What? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Can someone, like, tell me? Robo Justice costume has been added. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. What the heck? If you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not. <laughs> Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it. I know who did so it. Then. You may as well tell us, then. Hmm. Taka and Fumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? At least 30% Which means right. Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please! <laughs> oh, unfortunate. What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Um. I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh. So then... I know. That note. No. Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, and for some reason I fell asleep. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. <sighs> Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. <laughs> oh, we're talking about dumb fish. Okay, Hina, alright. <sighs> um... Uh, well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? It preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. 
I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it. Oh. Yeah, sure. Please. Oh god. <laughs> Hero, you were making this really hard, dude. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I like how pleasant Celeste is when she asks for serious things, but when she asks for milk tea and Hifumi fucks it up, she is, like, about to kill him. I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh... What the heck? For serious? Jeez. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Uh, it's like I said. The worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why... Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. <laughs> If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? You're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. Feet, don't fail me now. She falls into the pool. I guess I better get back on guard duty. I was going to ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Ooh. Hello. I want you to help me with the investigation. It, would seem... it looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Okay. All right. Sure. I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later. You. Me. Some of that meat in the dining hall. I'm hungry. <laughs> Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? How is that? No. <laughs> to reject me anyway. so simply. I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? You could tell Makoto to just, like, admit to being the killer, and he'd probably do it, Kyoko. Just just putting that out there. So that sounds crazy. Dude, hey. she is crazy. She is insane. You fuck up her milk tea. She's using that, like, stabby finger. So, Makoto, first, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer anyway. that? Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Right. Show me where the dead bodies are. They're in the repository. Uh... Repository... Map... Third floor. I think that's closest. Haka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid, but only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding at the I bodies. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. The wounds were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. <clears throat> I see. Makoto, I found something. Hey. You did? You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He... did? <laughs> Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Jeez, no, that's not it. <laughs> anyway, he said he had a watch. So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. Damn. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after six. That's right. 
But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey, you. Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at, at 6 this morning. However... And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. It appears to be gripping something. There's something white Makoto. in there. Can you try to pry it out? Because... Yeah. Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Oh, Kyoko, you're funny. The ice-cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. <sighs> Man, Taka, let go, dude. <laughs> Piece of paper. Hey. Is that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does Is it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's so body. Then. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps it's left us a few clues of his own in his pants. Uh. Kiyotaka's scrap of paper has been added. The biggest problem I have right now is this big fat lard on the floor right in my walking area. No, not really. Uh, it's how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse from the nurse's office where he was discovered to here in the repository, all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing it. I can't see how that's possible. Further, it seems Hifumi died from a blow to the head. He was most likely killed using Justice Hammer 3, which we found in the nurse's office, but... When we found his body in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered in blood. And now they're spotless. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses clean? But who would do that, and why? I did, more than expected, to be honest. Look at this. A lot of paper? That's right. Afumi had it hidden on him. Hidden. Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see. And his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Hey. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Um, when I think of how it was stuffed on his pants, it's like... It better be important, Hifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape- Ah, yeah. With shitty handwriting. Someone who has... dumb-tacular handwriting... made this one. <laughs> Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else. It's made in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So... That sounds very familiar. That's it, the same thing that Hiro said. When he was... Then he was telling us However, the truth. Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... Last night someone slipped a weird note under my door, and here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else. For now, let's meet at the rec room at 1 a.m. Ah... Different times. The time is different. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1 a.m., but the note that they wrote to Fumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Hold on. Just because if Fumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Hmm? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. Some meaning to the part of it being ripped? To explain a little more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? Oh, look at that smile. So then... If it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it, what if it was something more important? Yeah, just... 
Makoto, just put the two pieces of paper together, you dumb dumb. Dun. My name is Makoto. <laughs> While we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims of this this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them, so the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said is that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! It sounds like I'm doing a trial, even though I didn't works, like intend to. Like the of a soul clashing with life and death! And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot! Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school! <laughs> See you soon! Boo. It would seem It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. What are you talking about, dude? You have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. You're right. Shall we go? Somebody about to lose ten milli. I am gonna yeah. save. Uh, I, I, it's like, it's one of those things where I work, I'm four on three off, I work four days a week, I can't even play this after I get home, I'm so fucking tired. Like, I can't, I can't stream, I can't do, like, anything extra with my day. And then I get here, and the weirdest shit happens. I can't just leave it. It's, re it's really tough to just leave it. I think I need to keep going. Okay. Here's everybody. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma uh, No, 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 no. I don't want more. Uh, there's only... There's only one Monokuma. I don't want to. He's multiplied? Wrong. No, not multiplication. It just looks that way because it's an illusion. It's moving so fast, it looks like I've multiplied. Heh. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one's a real Monokuma? Can we just get on the elevator already? <laughs> she cares not for Monokuma's shitty jokes. Boy, tough You're not playing along. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Uh, fine. Hey, hey! And if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train uh, elevator. See you guys down there. Let's Two go. Oreos. <laughs> yeah. Or they're one, they're one mega stuffed Oreo. Please. Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. Too bad. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for this, dude. Hina, you're being so mean to your fellow dum dum. What the heck? I already, I told you already. I didn't do it for serious. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? Uh, well, no, but <laughs> how unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. <laughs> hey. This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first, then the story can really begin. That's right, I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive, and for the two that lost their lives. Insane, dude. The one who killed Hifumi and Taka, the one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here.
Let's just get it going. Doors closed on their own. The steel box began to move. I, f I have a feeling this should go faster than the last one. I would hope that it is. What, what am I at right now? How long have I been streaming? Holy shit. At least four hours. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. Also, I can't, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I hope everybody enjoys the VOD of this. I know that everybody can't stay awake for it. I totally get it. The elevator door slid open, opening up into a cruel fate. Oh yeah, a deadly this, a deadly that, a deadly bow, a deadly hat. A deadly bonnet. Just the worst. A deadly bandana. A deadly class trial. Why are you making us do such cool things to each other? Wah -wah? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. Yeah. Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for the action packed class trial after this commercial break. He knows! He knew that I was <laughs> He knew I wasn't gonna do that. Too real. Alright, assign seats, everybody. Alright, so the curtain opened once again. Yeah, um, yeah, we already went through that. Alright. So, set skills. I did learn a new one, I think. Neural liberation. The focus gauge decreases more slowly during concentration and fever time. Effective during non-stop debate, ham hangman's gambit, and the bullet time battle. Okay. Yep. Definitely doing that. Um, Austin thought. 3 SP. <laughs> okay. Increases the time limit for each phase. Lovely. Couldn't have asked for anything more because I fucking... Ugh. Okay, definitely going to be looking at this note. This is Yasuhiro's note. This is the blueprints. This handwriting is ass. So whoever made this stored the stuff in Yasuhiro's room. I think the killer. I was good at I, like one one minute of theory crafting here. I think the killer was only expecting, uh, Hifumi, or they were expecting only Taka to show up. Uh, Taka lost the note. He and Hifumi were running to the same place. The killer had no choice but to kill both of them because they were only planning on killing Taka. But it's not Yasuhiro. Maybe it is. Maybe he purposely disguised his handwriting. Maybe it's Celeste and she's just trying to play us. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, to begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? Don't he know? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! <laughs> oh God, you're one to talk, yo. Who are you calling a murderer? 
murderer. <laughs> I am sorry to say, hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprint for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. They could have robbed his room key off it of him. points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is her really the killer, or...? Yeah, he's not, dude. We gotta... We really gotta find out. I really don't think he is. Yep. Okay. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough. That you Shit. are the culprit. It's why. That's what it was. It's not true. It's here around. No! Just hold on a second! Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all... No, that's wrong. Yep. Are we Bag sure Shiro Shiro, yeah. really made those blueprints? Like how everyone next to me is dead. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hiro wrote. Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different. Wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. So that brings up a no, point. The differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. <laughs> so Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hiro's innocent as well. <laughs> Shit, Reddit chimes in, dude. <laughs> What? Who was in that Robo Justice suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. And of course, he passes it off to me, and I get to make this face. So, who was in the Robo Justice oh, suit? Oh, dude, look at look at uh, look at Hina's hair. Her hair gets like turns from water to fire when she gets all fired up. Suspicious individual in question, the one that must have been in the suit is the Illuminati. It's always them. I me. Shoot. Ow. <laughs> Just hurt myself. I got it. Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but <laughs> no he's not the culprit. Girl. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo Justice suit. Yep. What? Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! All things have a proper order. So, what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. Yep. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Yep. Things that were used to move Taka's body, they must have been... There's still one more thing. 
The things that were used to move Taki's body. Oh yeah, we've got we've got two things actually. Uh, the dolly. Where is it? Yeah, okay, this. Please skipped over that. Yep. I got it! They were a dolly and a tarp, right? That's what the app said. So, <laughs> let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room, and then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the dolly. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. We have all oh accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Wow, I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. Maybe I can change your mind. If I could just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. Oh fuck, a new element? Jeez. Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you, you could destroy your opponent's statements. From now on, just locking on and pressing the buy button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you reload by pressing X. Okay. So we got A, X, and Y. Just like locking on, you have to press the X button in time with the tempo marker. Just remember the X button now has a function along with A and Y. Might automatically reload at the start of fever time. Your ammo will not decrease. But if your action difficulty is set to gentle, there's no reload. But we're on me and everything. Okay, so A. God, we're getting into this early, aren't we? You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. Oh, you are a fool. I keep fucking it up. Do your worst. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Oh, this is, Lies this will is get you cool. nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. You had it wrong. Oh, adding that sucked. And then not being able to see. Hang on. Uh, no, I'm trying that again. Nope, game's over, guys. See you later. 